Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that we have a parabola y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It has slope 4 at x equals 1, slope negative 8 at x equals negative 1, and it passes through the point 215. So firstly, dealing with this fact, if we know that it passes through the point 215, we know we can plug in 15 for y, 2 for x, and the equation will hold true. So let's just do that. So we get 15 is equal to ax squared, so a times 2 squared, plus b times x is b times 2, plus c. Simplifying this, we get 15 equals 2 squared is 4a plus 2b plus c. Now, we can't do anything with this yet, but we also know that it has slope 4 at x equals 1, and slope negative 8 at x equals negative 1. So the slope of the parabola, we can think of as the value of the derivative. So first getting the value of the derivative from this equation, say y prime is equal to, and then we have a power function here, so you take the coefficient, you bring it out front, you bring down the exponent, and then your new exponent is the old one minus one. With just an x to the first power term, you just take the coefficient and add it, or subtract it, or whatever it is, and then plus c, the derivative of that is just zero because it is a constant. Our simplified derivative is gonna be two a, x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x, plus b. We're told that the value of this is 4 when x is equal to 1. So you can plug in 1 and 4, 1 for x, 4 for the slope. We get 4 equals 2a plus b. We're told that it's negative 8 when x equals negative 1. So negative 8 equals 2a times negative 1 plus b, plugging in negative 8 for the slope negative 1 for x, and negative 8 equals negative 2a plus b. Now we sign it as something we can do. We have three equations with three variables, and we can solve for them and get our equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So doing that, just writing these equations underneath each other, we can do elimination. We can add these two. We get 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4 is equal to, these cancel out with just 0, and then b plus b is 2b. Dividing both sides by 2, you get b is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Now, we know that 4 is equal to 2a plus b, since that's one of the equations we found. So we can plug in negative 2 for b, since we now found that's the value of b. Then we can solve for a. We get 2a is equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. Dividing both sides by 2, we get a is equal to 6 over 2 is 3. Now we can plug our value of b and our value of a into this last equation to get our value of c. So 15 equals 4 times a, which is 4 times 3, plus 2 times b is 2 times negative 2, plus c. Therefore, 15 equals 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus c. 15 equals 12 minus 4 is 8, plus c, subtracting by 8 on both sides. This cancels and we just get c is equal to 15 minus 8 is 7. So now we have a, we have b, and we have c. Therefore, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is y equals ax squared is 3x squared plus bx would be minus 2x plus c would be plus 7. That's our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.